Before I get into this video, I just wanted to say happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I'm a father myself of three beautiful children, and uh, you guys, I hope are having an awesome day. Being a parent is one of the most difficult but most rewarding aspects that any human being can go through in their adult life. That being said, I would also appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. We are on a road to 133,000 subscribers. We're close, <laughs> but not... Not quite there, so I would appreciate if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel, because if you do, we might just make it. All right, guys, we have to talk again about a Nintendo Direct, and look, I th this has been a very interesting time for me, not just because I've been dealing with a few personal things uh, that have led me to not keep up on things as much as I want, but also because we talked last week about a Nintendo Direct, right? We, we talked about how... There were rumors out there of a potential Nintendo Direct next week or just a Direct in general in June. Nate the Hate pretty much repeating, as he has many times and did over the weekend, that we shouldn't forget about June. That June could be a Direct, that June may be a Direct, uh, that June sounds like a good time for there to be a Direct. These are his words, or paraphrasing his words. And some people over-speculated a bit on his 621 percent thing which wasn't related to nintendo but then you know now he's kind of making a joke out of it saying you know oh something will happen between 6.20 percent and 6.23 percent look i don't really know if any of that means anything he could just be trolling at this point because he's not very happy with how some of the reports we're doing with his 6.21 percent thing but here's today where we have a actual report not just some some reddit stuff or some speculation from Nate the Hate, but we have an actual report, I believe from a Brazilian website. If it's not Brazilian, please let me know, but I, I believe that's where this is from, called Nintendo Universe or Universo Nintendo. Look, I don't really know, I don't speak the language, so I'm just using a Google Translate here. Uh, but it says, report Nintendo prepares a new direct presentation for next week, and he posted this on Saturday, so when he meant next week, he means this week, and he says the company should disclose news for the second half of Nintendo Switch releases. And uh, this was posted up by Necro Felipe Lima, who was already sort of teasing there would be a direct this month last week. And he said, with traditional video game news events happening since the end of May and beginning of June, one of the companies that owed news to their fans was Nintendo so far, but that should change in the coming days. According to information obtained by Nintendo Universe from anonymous and reliable sources, the company should hold its traditional news presentation through a Nintendo Direct next week until the 23rd of June. So, he's, so he means before the 23rd of June. So sometime before the 23rd of June. The format of this presentation, whether a mini or general, is still unknown to us, but we understand that it contains first-party games among the announcements and updates, and the company should not use Partner Showcase as an option. So far, the company has not made any announcement or given any indication of this presentation, which may be announced next Tuesday on June 20th, but stay tuned for more news. It could also obviously be announced on the 21st to happen on the 22nd, of course, as well. So it could be Wednesday or Thursday. Seems to be what he's suggesting. But yeah, the fact that he says there will be more first-party games in it does tell you it's either a mini or a general, not a partner showcase. They don't put first-party games in partner showcases. So... That's cool. Again, mini or general doesn't really seem to matter to me. We haven't had a full mini from Nintendo in, in quite some time. And the last one they did was actually quite beefy. So whether it's a mini or a general, either way, I'll be pretty excited. Now, again, uh, this Necro Felipe Lima, he's been really accurate in the past with some of these reports. I've actually known of him for a while because I follow him around Nintendo Direct Times because he seems to have pretty accurate insider sources i don't really know who his contacts are maybe it's somebody directly uh at nintendo through uh you know one of their local branches but what i do know is i am pretty excited at the prospect of a direct this week and we need one i mean look some people are overreacting a little bit talking about how you know with without a nintendo direct let's say there wasn't one this month let's say they didn't do one all summer that nintendo was in trouble which reminded me of the whole nintendo is doomed thing there's actually a whole website called nintendo is doomed because nintendo is always eternally doomed by anybody who doesn't pay attention but i, I do think it's interesting thinking about the prospect of there not being a direct versus 
obviously Nintendo was going to have a direct. Let's be clear here. Nintendo ha is going to Gamescom when they hardly ever go to Gamescom. Nintendo is having a Nintendo Live 2023. They don't do one of those every single year. Nintendo has a tour going on right now, which is going to feature games like Pikmin 4. Okay, well, that means they have to have a way to present news on Pikmin 4 if they're going to have a demo tour featuring Pikmin 4. Oh, also, Nintendo is collaborating with PAX West, which means they're probably going to have demos at PAX West. And while Nintendo was at PAX East, it was just, you know, games that were already out, right? And, and they could do that again at PAX West. It just seems timing it around Gamescom and Nintendo Live really does suggest that there's going to be more. But the point is that... Nintendo already has plans to show games at these events, so they clearly have plans to reveal games. And I think what happens is because there's no E3, and Nintendo has, as of yet, to do a general direct in June during a year without E3, there's just this assumption that Nintendo won't do one this month. Plus, you have things like, you know, Jeff Grubb saying he's only really heard of something happening next month, and he doesn't even know what that something is. Just Nintendo's got some sort of plan to do something next month. Okay, well, that could be anything. Could be an indie world, could be a partner showcase, could be a Pikmin 4 Direct, and I know someone on Twitter told me, yeah, I don't think Pikmin's big enough to get his own Direct. Look, Pikmin 3 Deluxe sold over 2 million copies, at the time of me writing this, officially, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 hasn't even sold 2 million, and that had a dedicated direct last June. So I'm just saying, you know what? We can't dismiss the possibility they might do a dedicated direct for Pikmin 4 next month. But what we can point out in all of this is look, Nintendo always has a plan. We may not know what the plan is. We may not know what their reasoning is for that plan. And I think some of us lack some patience. And, and I will say this. If you're someone who doesn't like Tears of the Kingdom, you're not a Zelda person, then yeah, it's probably been a bit of a waiting period for you. Let's say the last game you really enjoyed was, I don't know, Fire Emblem. Let's say you were a big Fire Emblem person, uh, Fire Emblem Engage back in January. Then for you, if, if there's been nothing Nintendo's really released since then that interests you, you've been waiting a while. And let's say that wasn't it. Let's say it was Splatoon 3. Let's say it was uh, Xenoblade. Let's, let, let's say it goes all the way back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Like, you start to see where it could, for some Nintendo fans, could be a while. I think there's this misnomer that because Tears of the Kingdom is popular, that, you know, Nintendo could get away with not releasing anything besides Pikmin 4 for the next four or five months. And, and I always found that notion to be stupid. Let me explain. There's 125 million Switches out there. Let's say that, that Tears of the Kingdom moves 20 to 25 million units this year. Let's just say that happens. You're telling me that Nintendo wants to ignore the other 100 million Switch owners that aren't interested in Zelda? No, of course not. So this is one reason why people say, oh, well, I'm glad that Pikmin comes when it does, or I wish Pikmin 4 came later, or you know what, if Metroid Prime 4 is coming this year, man, you know what, I might not be done with Zelda yet. I hope they delay that. I know a lot of us only think selfishly about game releases, but we need to be honest. Not everyone likes and plays Zelda. That's just reality. Not everyone likes and plays Mario. Even Mario Kart, think about this. The most popular IP Nintendo has is Mario Kart. And even that, even that hasn't sold to half of the Switch owners. It's close, but it hasn't sold to half. That means half the people that own a Nintendo Switch do not care about Mario Kart. So I'm just throwing out there that we need to be considerate of others. Nintendo was never going to not do something this summer. They were never going to not reveal more news on games and reveal more upcoming games because Nintendo knows you can't just leave 100 million plus Nintendo Switch owners out to dry with nothing to play for months on end because they weren't into Zelda. I'm sorry. I know it seems crazy. How could you not be into Zelda and be a Nintendo fan? Believe it or not, it happens. It happens quite frequently. 100 million plus Wii sold, only 8 million of Twilight Princess. Actually, if you look at the sales of Zelda in general, Zelda over the years has never really been a massive seller until Breath of the Wild. And even when you count Breath of the Wild and you count Tears of the Kingdom, compared to the system it's on, there's still so many other people that own it that didn't play Zelda because they're not into it. So again, Nintendo was never going to leave people out to dry. Whether they do it this month or next month, I don't know. But according 
to Nintendo Universe over here. They're saying we're getting one this week. They're obviously a lot more credible than some random person on Reddit. Uh, and they says he has got multiple sources on this. So that's that's pretty cool. And we've obviously had a lot of hints from Nate the Hate saying, you know, hey, June sounds like a good time for a direct. Don't give up on June, blah, blah, blah. It kind of sounds like he's heard something about June. And he does have a podcast dropping this week talking more about that. Uh, but we'll we'll see when that drops because, I mean, if it drops too late in the week, maybe it's already happened. I don't know. Maybe he's waiting because he doesn't want to put it out there that it's happening this week. Maybe he doesn't know. Beats me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.